Hello and welcome to week five of the SCB Pro Challenge. This week I'm joined by Somerset's Ollie Sale and Tom Lamanby. Before they answer your questions and set you this week's challenges, we're going to watch a short video of them playing cricket for Somerset. Ollie and Tom, thank you for joining us for this week's Pro Challenge. You guys must be pretty excited that this cricket season is getting even closer. Yeah, definitely. We're um, we're very ready to go. We've been indoors training now for the whole winter. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to get outside and hopefully uh, get some cricket soon. Yeah, it's felt, it's felt like a long winter, hasn't it? Yeah. So it would be nice to get outside, get in the sun, hopefully, and yeah, start playing. Brilliant. So before you set the challenges for, for the guys and girls at home this week, we've got a few questions that have been sent in. So the first question is from Maya and she's in year five at Kingsmore Primary. And she wants to know, how did you first become interested in cricket and how old were you? Thank you for your question, Maya. We, um, well, I first started playing cricket when I was about eight. Um, I think just through school really. And um, it was like quick cricket and things like that. I just enjoyed it and um, get involved with the local club and go from there. Just, yeah, with a big smile on my face, I think. Yeah, I was a bit different. I was sort of growing up, uh, brought up playing cricket. So mm -hmm. a lot through the family. Mum and dad always spent a lot of time at, at the cricket club and anyone knows who, like us, would, would associate us with the cricket club. So I've always just grown up around it and picked up the love of the game from that, I guess. So almost as soon as you could, well, hold something in your hands, you had a bat in your hands, Tom. Yeah. And Ollie, a little bit older, but still still eight years old. So a little bit younger than what Myra is at the moment. So ultimately, it's, it's never too late to get started if it's something that you love doing. Oh, cool. That's right. We've got a couple of questions from Somerset Bridge. So Mrs. Burdett, who's one of the teaching assistants there, she's got a really important question. She wants to know what your favourite biscuit is. Oh, I, mine has to be chocolate digestive. Can't can't beat one. It's pretty traditional, but I think. What about you? I do like the little like twirly ones, like the little ones with the holes in, like long ones. Um, but I reckon custard cream. You can't go can't go too wrong. One of them. I used to love them at school. And get a lot of them from the teachers. So that was my favourite at school. Very good. Um, then Mr. Croker, who's a teacher at the school, would like to know who the best player you've played against is. Well, uh, Marnus Labuschagne is. Probably mine, yeah. He's handy, handy competitor. What about you? Yeah, one one that stands out for me is A.B. De Villiers. And uh, fortunately, I got him out, but I'm not sure oh, I can claim too much of it. Um, <laughs> with Max taking a worldie yeah, on, the, on the boundary. So I just bowled a short long off and he smacked it to Max. But probably A.B. De Villiers. In fact, definitely A.B. De Villiers. Yeah, it's your wicket in the, in the scorecard. So A.B. De Villiers is one of the, the best batters, certainly in recent times, if not of all time. And, and Manus Labashain, who's very quickly on his way for, for Australia, becoming one of the very best batters around at the moment as well. So two top, top players there. Very nice. Right, our final question. Uh, and this one is from Sydney, Tamaris and Oliver. And they would like to know, what does it feel like playing cricket for Somerset? So what does it feel like representing Somerset? Oh, it's amazing. Um... Obviously, very proud, probably for both Lammers and I, because we've been involved with Somerset, you know, since we were um, sort of teenagers and we've been through the academy and things like that. Um, and the crowd and the fans at Somerset are second to none. And uh, that's something we'll be really hoping we can get back into the ground as soon as possible. Yeah, I think I think that's that's the main thing is that it's, it's very much like a family down here and sort of us two growing up in the southwest, you look, you look to Somerset and you, you almost want to... Uh, aspire to achieve that one day and luckily we've had the opportunity to do that so um i think being a part of that family is yeah really really nice and i guess really exciting news at the start of the week that hopefully we'll have some crowds in at some point in the summer and potentially full houses as well later on in the summer as well so being able to get all those members back to the to the club as well and watch you guys taking wickets and scoring runs yeah we've all already been talking about it so yeah we're keeping our fingers crossed that all goes to yeah 100 plan yeah stuff thank you gents and thank you for for those questions that were sent in as well right our challenges this week so our first one is our skills challenge uh and tom you're going to tell us about this one uh yeah we're going to do a catching challenge so 
I'll stand up, but I'm just going to throw the ball in the air um, and try and catch it as many times as possible. I think in 30 seconds. If you haven't got a ball, I've got a rolled up pair of socks. So you can, you know, use something like that or anything round you've got lying around. Brilliant. Well, so how, could, uh, how could you make it easier, Ollie? Um, you could get a bigger ball or maybe don't throw it as high. That's the challenge. So if you want to make it harder, throw it a bit higher, use one hand. Or, um, yeah, if you want to make it easier, don't throw it as high, bigger ball, um, something like that. So loads of different options there of bigger or smaller balls or one-handed, some claps in there, throwing it higher or lower. And the challenge, Tom, was how to do as many as you can in 30 seconds? Yeah, the challenge we're going to set is how many catches can you do um, up and down in 30 seconds? Brilliant. So that's our skills challenge and our creative challenge, Ollie. The creative challenge is to design a playing shirt for your school or club. Brilliant. So get your artistic flair out, designing that playing shirt, whether it's your school or club or whoever. Yeah. Excellent. So if you want to send your videos in or your shirts in, you can email them to my email address on screen or you can tweet them to at Somerset CB with the hashtag SCB Pro Challenge. So a couple of skills for you and activities this week. Uh, Ollie and Tom, thank you very much for joining us, for answering the questions and setting the challenge this week. Not at all. No Thanks worries. for having us. Cheers. Thank you, guys. Cheers.